Now, here's a Times Network uh, exclusive. We've accessed the report that has been submitted by the CBSC's fact-finding committee on the Pradyuman murder case. The report has directly, without doubt here, blamed the school management for the death of Pradyuman, listing at least 10 shocking lapses in school. The report once again confirms here that the incident did take place due to negligence of the school authorities and that the school could have definitely averted this murder with better precautions at place. To recount here, the CBSE had set up a two-member fact-finding committee to probe the reasons why such a shocking security lapse had taken place. We've accessed this report that has been submitted by the two-member fact-finding team of the CBSE in this particular case. And there are some uh, shocking facts that I want to uh, highlight for our viewers. One, they have mentioned it very clearly that, you know, the way uh, he was murdered in the toilet, Pradyuman, it looks as if he might have been pulled inside and then killed. And it also reveals that how, you know, there was no attendant or ayah with the children uh, who could really take them to uh, washrooms or to any other place because these are small kids that we are talking about as far as the uh, windows inside the washrooms are concerned uh, you know they did not have any grills and any for anybody from outside could just jump inside and nobody will uh, even get to know uh, as far as the staff or the other students in the school are concerned so they have clearly mentioned that perhaps it is complete negligence on part of the school authorities that killed Pradyuman and nothing else the same toilets washrooms are being used by students uh, uh, which uh, are also being used by the drivers, conductors, cleaners. So all the outside workforce that's there, which is also a part of the school, is using the same toilets as these little kids are using. The school building has about five floors, out of which three floors are used for teaching purposes. Remaining two floors have empty classrooms and they're not even locked. So, you know, any child could go up to the terrace, could go up to the roof, could go up to these two floors where there are no, uh, you know, classrooms. They are empty rooms where uh, nothing is there and they could go there and nobody would even figure out where that particular child has gone. Well, those are the details of the shocking lapses, security lapses at the Ryan International School, Gurugram. And after the school reopened just for one day yesterday, the school has been shut once again on daughters that have come in from the Deputy Commissioner of Gurugram, Mr. Vinay Pratap Singh. The school is now scheduled to reopen on the 25th of September. And within this period, it is slated to be used to monitor and address the safety concerns in the school. Pradyuman's father spoke to us earlier, stating that he does hope here that the CBI does a speedy investigation since it's, since it's already been 12 days since that gruesome murder. मेरे मन में जो आशंका थी वो मैंने डिप्टी कमिश्नर को एक मेल के थ्रू वो किया था उनको कि जब तक जैसा कि मुख्यमंत्री जी ने वो किया था अनाउंस कर दिया था कि हम इस पूरे मामले की जांच सीबीआई से कराएंगे तो जब तक सीबीआई को केस हैंडओवर नहीं हो जाता है वो अपनी इनिशियल इंक्वायरी नहीं स्टार्ट करती है इन्वेस्टिगेशन स्टार्ट नहीं करती है तब तक स्कूल खोलना ठीक नहीं है क्योंकि हो सकता है कि वो जो भी सबूत बचे हुए हैं पहले भी बहुत सारे सबूत टेंपर हो चुके हैं तो उसके बाद जो बच गए हैं वो भी टेंपर होने की प्रोबेबिलिटी थी जो मुझे लगता था मेरी आशंका थी जिस दिन प्रद्युम की हत्या हुई थी उस दिन से मैं लगातार सबको ये रिक्वेस्ट कर रहा हूँ कि इस मामले की तुरंत मतलब इमीडिएट इफेक्ट से सीबीआई की जाए इंक्वायरी जांच होनी चाहिए उसके बावजूद अब इतना डिले ये थोड़ा सा मैं मैं मुझे भी मतलब आश्चर्य हो रहा है और मैं मुझे चिंता भी है कि मतलब कब इसकी इंक्वायरी स्टार्ट होगी and the latest on the Pintos now, the family that runs the school. The Punjab and Haryana High Court's judge has recused himself from hearing their anticipatory bail application there, citing that he knows the Pintos personally. The matter is now to be transferred to the Chief Justice of the Haryana and Punjab High Court, and a different bench will hear the matter. Let's get in further inputs. We have with us our correspondent Vishal Monga with these details here. Vishal, uh, the very fact here that it needs to be transferred to another bench, uh, how much more time would be taken in this process? See, this bail application would be heard tomorrow. That is what the sources in the High Court have told us. They have said that uh, the judge rescued himself by saying that he knew the Pintos personally. It was a graceful act of the judge. Now what has happened is this will go back in the evening to the uh, Chief Justice who will assign a dif different division bench for hearing of this bail petition. 
and tomorrow this bail petition would be heard at around 11 11:30 that is what uh, the sources within the high court have told us but indeed what we can tell you is since uh, the lower court has rejected the bail of pintos and uh, it's highly unlikely that a high court really uh, uh, take uh, allow the bail of uh, pintos but indeed if this happens then there is big trouble for pintos because pintos will then have to spend few nights behind bar then only the supreme court could really listen to the bail application but indeed what we can tell you is that uh, the haryana police uh, they are saying that uh, they are quite confident uh, that notice was issued to the haryana police and they quite confident and they will re- really uh, we were talking to the ag office also they said that uh, they will oppose the bail petition of pintos and if the judge agrees then there could be a lot of trouble for the pintos Absolutely, and all of that, of course, uh, to take place tomorrow morning is what you're saying by around 11 a.m. without any further delay. There, Vishal, thank you for those updates.